Richard. Well, this was a fantastic movie. Congratulations on it. Thank you so much. Casting. What went into casting? Why did you choose Rachel and Donald? My friend Mike Newell, who made Four Weddings, said once a movie's cast, it's done. And it is the most important thing. And the casting in this movie was the three kinds. So mm -hmm. Rachel, I've always loved everything she's done. I sent her the movie. We prayed. <laughs> Couldn't believe she said yes. Donal, I've worked with... I mean, Donal, I just auditioned all the young actors I could find in the UK. It was the other end of the spectrum. I had no idea who I was looking for. And actually, he was tricky auditioning him because he had a great big orange beard. He was in the middle of doing Anna Karenina. He looked like an extra in Deliverance. <laughs> um, but I could see that he was tender, sweet, very good actor, but then also crucially funny. Okay. You know, and I then found out he'd done sketch shows in Ireland when he was young and stuff like that. So, and then Bill was just a, an old friend asking him to do a kind of unusual part of, of as it were, no acting. He was perfect for it. Yeah. He brought so much humor yeah. to it. It was great. So, um, Donald, we don't know him that well. So, what are some things we should know about him now that we have our big introduction? Uh -huh. You should know about him that he's funny. You should know, you should not know about him. The secret I've been told not to tell is he tends to get rather cross when he's hot. <laughs> um, so all the scenes on the beach he found very difficult because we were pretending it was oh. December. He was wearing a thick, thick coat. Was it was grumpy. July and it was 95 degrees. <laughs> um, his dad's Brendan Gleeson, great famous mm -hmm. actor. Uh, and he, he worries that he wasn't very good in the Potter movies. He said that like he had his big scene on the first day he was there and then all his other scenes we had later on and he was nervous that he fluffed it. Well, I thought he was fantastic. Yeah, he's the most gorgeous human being. Very funny in real life. Very sweet. What I really loved is he's a cute guy, but you didn't pick some like young Bradley Cooper to come in and be this like hot stud. Was there a reason behind that, or he no, was just it, the part? No, I've always thought that. Oddly enough, I voted against Hugh Grant being in my <laughs> in four weddings because yeah. I thought he was too handsome, and I always loved the idea of having somebody who you have to learn to love. You know, right. movies like Diner, and I love, and Woody Allen even in his movies, somebody who's a bit quirky looking, who you don't instantly think is the handsomest guy at the party, because that's who I think most people, I don't, most of us are just not you relatively <laughs> ordinary on Thanks. the scale of, of looks and character. Right. So I think something everyone is wondering, this was such a fantastic movie, what's next for you? I've actually written a movie that Judy Dench and Dustin Hoffman are going to do a TV okay. film based on a Roald Dahl story. So I think that's the next, that's the next thing. Is there anything on your bucket list you haven't accomplished yet that you would like to? Uh, I want to spend, I want to go on a walking holiday with Bill Nye. When we were on the beach together, this is one of the things that made me think I should do less work. He said, next time we're on the beach, can we just be on a beach without a hundred people saying, fix your hair and we're running out of time and we're losing the light. And just want to hang out. I, yeah, exactly. So maybe, I hope the next time you see me and Bill is when we just stroll past you. Oh, are you going to invite out. me? Are you going to invite me to come strolling with you? Well, wouldn't that be a perfect and complicated thing? It so would. Who do you think would win in a ping pong match? He was quite talented. Both of them were very poor. Uh, there was talk of CGI balls at one point. And you'll notice that if you see the movie that it's pretty well only the smashes that you see where it, you can't quite see where the ball lands. <laughs> Um, I think Donal was better than Bill in the end. Oh. But I used to play, the sweet thing is I used to play table tennis with my dad. And it was only when I got older that I realized that he'd always just let me win. Ah. And that he was probably better than me the whole time. Helped your ego though, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much.